previously on Dungeons and Dragons. Our heroes successfully made their escape through the mine and now had to plan on how to get back to the ship. After examining their situation, our heroes had two options. Go back the way they came across the guarded bridge. Or cross the destroyed bridge and take a game trail back to Crag Run. Our heroes decided to avoid the main road to avoid contact with people from Iron Wharf as much as possible. Our heroes made their way to the destroyed bridge and were surprised to find four Iron Wharf soldiers on patrol. However, our heroes were sneaky and patient enough to wait for them to leave. With the coast clear, our heroes began to decide how to cross the river. However, our heroes suddenly remembered that Corful was here and he controlled the water out of the way allowing for most of the caravan to cross uninterrupted. The remaining card was able to cross due to some levitation and Goliath muscle. With our heroes safely across the river, they managed to make their way to the game trail without being discovered where they traveled until dark. Our heroes set up camp for the night and did the usual plan of rotating keeping watch. Bullet took the first watch this time. His watch was mostly uneventful. However, he did spot a group of dogs lurking nearby and decided not to provoke them. The dogs eventually left and then it was time for Duke's watch. Duke immediately left his post to go look for the dogs. Meaning no one was guarding the bodies of the fallen soldiers as the dogs had returned and ripped into the cart to try to eat them. Duke managed to scare them away and began trying to repair the damage to the cart to stop the dogs from getting at the bodies. But no. Apparently that's not allowed as Alura burst from her tent and forced Duke to spend at least some time of this guard shift actually guarding. Once Duke went to bed, it was now time for Alura's shift. Everything was going smoothly with her shift until it wasn't as the dogs came back and managed to steal an attempt to eat Gai's body. Alura immediately raised the alarm. Our heroes had varying levels of caring to the nose of Gai's body being eaten. Alura and Chad were able to quickly chase away the dogs, saving most of Gai's body. After putting Gai back into the card, it was now time for Chad's watch. His watch mostly went well except for when it didn't as Chad suddenly discovered that one of the prisoners was missing. Chad once again raised the alarm for our hero's very hidden and very stealthy caravan. Once again, our heroes showed the whole spectrum of level of caring that the prisoner had escaped. Chad and Bulland immediately set off to bring back the prisoner. Bulland decided now would be a great time to try out his new ability to not miss. The no miss ability surprisingly did not miss as Bulland shot him in the back from last week. With the prisoner now slowed due to his missing lung, Chad was able to tackle him to the ground. Our heroes had managed to recapture the prisoner. However, during the chase, our heroes heard some mysterious footsteps running along with them from something hidden by the surrounding landscape. Our heroes were not alone, 